In the previous video, we learned how to pre-render dynamic routes. We also learned how to configure what routes should be pre-rendered using the pre-render config property. We learned how to set crawling to false and specify only the routes we want to pre-render. In this current scenario, we have pre-rendered slash product slash one and slash products slash two. Let's run this built app and verify if the two routes work as expected. npm run preview. In the browser, refresh localhost port 4173 slash products. Click on product one, works fine. Click on product two, works fine as well. Now let me navigate to product three. And it seems we have a problem. By specifying what routes to pre-render, Svelkit pre-rendered products with ID one and two, but the app cannot handle any other product ID. How do we resolve this? Well, this is where the auto value for pre-render option comes into picture. In page.server.js, within the product ID folder, change pre-render to auto. Now, what does this do? Well, it will pre-render pages based on the crawl and increase array. However, if it comes across a page which is not pre-rendered, it will try to server-side render that page and serve it to the client. Let's try it out. npm run build, npm run preview. If now refresh slash products slash three, we see product three details. And this is great for when you want to pre-render only a few frequently visited pages in your application while the remaining pages can be server-side rendered. This will keep both build time and server size to a minimum. On a side note, if you navigate to slash products slash four, our redirection logic, which we implemented kicks in and we are redirected back to slash products. So this is pretty much what I wanted to cover in this section on page options. We learned how to enable and disable SSR, CSR, and pre-rendering. They all have their own use case in an application. You can server-side render dynamic pages for SEO, client-side render admin pages to keep server size to a minimum, and pre-render marketing pages for maximum performance. As you can see, page options make SwellKit really versatile. All right, thank you for watching. Please do consider subscribing to the channel and I'll see you in the next one.